When working in the gallery one of the questions I got most is how to look at a piece of artwork. Today I would like to share my experience. As you know visual art as one of the seven art forms brings us happiness in life. I call it a mental exercise. We are not just feel it when we look at beautiful artwork make us feel relaxed and happy. It is scientific proved. The same result as go gym after a nice workout. Our body releases four chemicals which will activate our happiness feeling. And when we happy we tend to be more productive and creative. So let me share how we get most enjoyment from looking at an artwork. You may also feel good when look at beautiful architecture, sculpture, literature, music, performing, and photograph. If you want to know more please check this article. There are five steps to look at an artwork. Step 1. Go with your gut feeling. Without look at label. In this stage we look at overall feeling. It is valuable experience to trust your instinct and listen to your heart. This is a very personal and subjective stage. How did you feel when you look at this painting? Happy, worry, sad, very unique? Or just so-so? This stage I normally decide if I would like to discover more about this artwork. Step 2. This lead to the second common question I got quite often. What kind of art it is? Which media it use? Oil painting, acrylic, watercolor, or others? So I will walk to the side, either left or right side of the paint and look again. Most museum or gallery has profession lighting system. By viewing the art from side you can roughly tell it is water-based art, oil-based art, or mixed media. Most oil painting will have nice shine, a nice reflection of the texture of paint while water-based art is flat. That's the beauty of oil painting. Some acrylic painted heavy to create a oil painting look but the shine is different. Step 3 Look at Details I will go further closer to look at details, such as the brush strokes, the type of paper texture the details of the center objects, the eyes of the face. This is one of the most enjoyable moments. In this stage you will find surprises, some unique tech the artist uses. It is the fun discovery stage. Step 4 Look from distance Now I will walk a bit far away from the art, maybe around 6 to 8 feet depend on the size of the art. Good art with good contrast will sometimes will give different feeling when look from the distance. For an example the famous painting Mona Lisa, when look at different angle you feel it is always look at you. It is like a camera with auto focus feature. It is stage I really appreciate this art. Also if I am still interested. I will be curious about the background of the art and artist. I might be look at the style the theme to guess when the painting was created. Especially for historic museum art, it is a great time to learn and appreciate art history. Step 5 Look at the label. Now it is a fun game. I would like to look at label read art background and author info to see if it is something matched my guess. By now you finished the process. The average time spent on art is around half minute based on research. 
And another report showed although modern lifestyle getting busier however the time people spend on looking at each piece is still stay the same. In summary, art played an important role in our life. During this pandemic we probably need it more. Let's enjoy and cherish it.